Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Big Mike and this is BZ Cooks. So look guys, we're not going to waste any time today. We're going to get right to this cook. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the juiciest chicken breast that you've ever made on your Weber kettle grill. All right, stay tuned. Let's get right to it. All right, so let's get right into this, guys. Let's talk about this chicken. Now, I talked to my cousin today, and he said, Mike, every single time I cook chicken breasts on the grill or on a smoker, they come out dry. Let me tell you why. Chicken breast is a very lean meat. Therefore, it's going to dry out quick. So one way to remedy that, folks, is to make a brine. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to make today. A very simple brine that you can use and modify to your liking to whatever kind of flavoring or spices you wanna add to it. So let me tell you how I made mine. The ingredients will be in the description and you can modify it to your liking or however you want, okay? So I'm doing five chicken breasts today, five chicken breasts. One, you're gonna need a one gallon size Ziploc bag, okay? One gallon size Ziploc bag. Then you're gonna need a pitcher. In this pitcher, you're gonna put eight cups of water. That's two quarts. All right, so let's start to put our brine together. You're gonna need one tablespoon of granulated onions and one tablespoon of dried chopped onions. You can find this at the grocery store. Next, you wanna use one tablespoon of thyme. Now, not ground thyme, just like the thyme leaves, okay? So you can find those um, at the grocery store as well in your spice section. Next, you wanna use a teaspoon of either cayenne pepper. For me, I'm using um, chipotle chili powder. Now you wanna add some garlic powder. I like granulated garlic powder. I'm not really fond of the regular garlic powder because it's just too cakey and powdery. I like the granulated kind, so use granulated. And you want a tablespoon of fresh black peppercorns. Now. Throw that into your mix, into your water, and you're gonna stir that up. The next two ingredients are key to this meat getting hydrated, because that's what the brine does. It hydrates the meat and it saturates it so that it, it gets all those juices sealed in. These spices in this brine are gonna make it so you don't even have to season the outside of your chicken. Isn't that something? Okay, so the next two ingredients are really important. We're gonna take a half cup of kosher salt, okay? now. If you don't have kosher salt and you want to use regular table salt, you're only going to use a quarter cup of that, all right? Half cup of kosher salt, quarter cup of regular table salt, all right? Now you want to put in a half cup of regular sugar, all right? So granulated sugar, just add that to it. Now, once that's done, you're going to get your whisk and stir that all together, okay? Stir it up in our container, okay? After that, you wanna grab a one gallon Ziploc bag. One gallon, okay? Put your chicken breast into that bag and then pour your brine into the bag until it covers all of your meat. Your meat has to be totally submerged, okay? Zip that puppy up, put it in a bowl and stick it in the fridge for an hour to one hour and a half, okay? One and one half hour. Do not exceed that or else your meat will be too salty. Remember I said that, okay? So if you leave it in there too long, that's on you, not me. I told you not to do it, okay? All right, guys, so that's how you make your brine. We're gonna get right out to the grill. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do um, to cook these breasts. We're gonna cook them indirect on our smoker. Let's get right to it. Okay, guys, so here are our chicken breasts. I took them out of the brine after one and one half hour patted them dry with the paper towel. Now you could rinse all this stuff off of here, but remember this is all of our flavorings where that's gonna come from. Remember, you don't even have to season these. All right, so let's get right to the grill and put them on. I have oiled my grill with some uh, cooking spray so that it doesn't stick. So let's get out there and do it. All right, chicken's going on the grill. Fire's nice and hot. We are going to cook these for about two or three minutes on each side, okay? And then we're gonna take them off and cook them indirect. Now, if your chicken breast is starting to stick a little bit, just kind of lift them up so they don't stick. Get them up off the grill a little bit. And once they start to cook, they'll stop sticking. All right, so we flip them over 
you can see we got some grill marks on there. Gotta be careful not to leave them on there too long. See that one in the middle? Got a little too hot, so it's a little charred. Okay, keep your eye on it. All right, been a couple of minutes on each side. Now we're gonna cook it opposite the fire. I'm gonna put my lid on. Let's do that now. So we wanna put our lid on with the vent open on the side where the chicken is. What that's gonna do is that's gonna draw heat from that side across the chicken and out through there. All right guys, as simple as that, we are done cooking this chicken. Easy to do, and once again, it's gonna come out juicy every time. So, as you can see, I sliced up some pieces right here. All right, and I'll save this one, we're gonna cut it, show you guys how juicy it is. Let's cut that down the middle there. Look at that. Nice and tender. Now, they will always come out like that if you use that brine. Chicken breast is one of the hardest pieces to just make juicy. So if you've got a method you can use, this is definitely one you want to take advantage of. All right, let's give it a taste test for science. Oh man, that's, man, this piece is tender like lunch meat. Wait, hold on, let me let somebody else taste this. Oh man. You hear that? You hear that? Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Hey man. You can put some barbecue sauce on this if you want, but this is the only way that I cook chicken breast. I will not do it any other way. I guarantee you, once you do it, you'll never go back. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, hit the bell notification so that you will know when we put up the next video. Stay tuned, I got some special things coming soon. So with that being said, we're gonna sign out. Until next time, this is Big Mike with BZ Cooks.